All right, this is gonna be a little update video on my Series 3 uh, Harbor Freight toolbox that I got uh, almost a year ago. Um, I've been asked a lot of questions about how I have this set up, so it's kind of a mess right now, but you know what? It's as good a time as any to show you how I use it every single day. Like I said, this is a Series 3 toolbox. Obviously, I've got the hutch. I also have two end lockers. Um, and I, I work out of this thing every single day. So I'm gonna show you guys how I have it set up these days um, and kind of talk about the pros, cons, things that I do and I don't like. Uh, the biggest one that I had in my last video is the height of the hutch. Um, over time and after use, not such a big deal i'm so used to it like if i if i go to write something down on top of my box i, I just have a feel for how high this thing is now so realistically i do wish it was a little bit higher but it doesn't bother me it's not a deal breaker especially for the price of these things because comparatively when you look at snap on maco mac all of those this is so cheap that that that's okay um these end lockers I do have my daughter's beautiful picture of me and her. See, I don't have hair. She has crazy curlies. Anyway, uh, these end lockers are awesome because they, they bolt to the box, but they also, they have these little, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but they're little hooks, right? So those little hooks sit on the edge of the box and then they bolt to the box. And in this one, I've got chargers down here, Milwaukee, my Hercules one, extra polishes, I also have a couple of extra buffers in these drawers, um, some extra sandpaper, a whole bunch of, this is all the paint for a Tundra project. If you're interested in Eastwood, use code JOEL10 all over site-wide, save you 10%. Anyway, back to what I got in here. I've also got some, some Poppy's Patina. This is for my boss's truck and just various things, but I, it's kind of just overflow storage, right? So then we'll go to the second one and this is, this is where I keep like my stock products. So hardener, reducers, reducer, cleaners, extra primer and sealer. Uh, I've got an extra clear there, extra clear there, primer. Um, I also keep the, my tap and die set in here. Um, but yeah, these end lockers, completely, completely worth it. I, I am super stoked on those and they, they work freaking great nice heavy duty I have them set up you can also like flip these and have them open the other way I just wanted them both to kind of open up away from the box um, <clears throat> now for how I have this thing set up we'll just kind of go through the drawers and show you obviously the top is a disaster currently because I'm kind of just working on some stuff uh, but my big drawer up top this is one of the cons and I know somebody said that you can just take these out, but then they don't lock and I don't, I don't really care for that. Maybe somebody's got a, an aftermarket solution, but when you look underneath here, you've got have to slide this over to unlock it. It's kind of a pain, but it's not a deal breaker. Um, but up here, I just keep all my sockets, electric ratchet, my big old impact wheel sockets, things like that. Pretty, pretty decent. This is my junk drawer where I keep junk. As you can see, there's sandpaper, leather gloves, pliers, whatnot. I've got, yeah, just extra stuff. My door jammer. And this, this box is honestly kind of empty right now because I did end up getting a tool cart, which I can walk over and show you guys. Cause a lot of the stuff that I had in here is now in the tool cart. So I have more room. I need to do more organizing in this box. This is kind of the spray gun part, spray gun graveyard nozzle set. Two drawers here, both, yeah, spray gun parts. Um, but anyway, I used to have like my blocks right here, which I still have some of them, but I put all of that in my cart. So here in just a second, we'll walk over and look at that. Um, but the power drawer in this, I used the crap out of this drawer. Um, obviously I charge my GoPro in here. I have Luma lights. I've got, I mean, everything kind of just charges in this area. I know it's kind of a jumbled mess, but I, I'm a technician. What do you expect? It's not going to be perfectly clean. Um, but overall, 
the build quality of this box, I have had no problems whatsoever. Every now and again, I'll wheel it out, which I need to do soon. I'll wheel it out into the middle of this little area, clean underneath it, clean the box. I need to do that soon because I've got stuff accumulating up there and I just, I need to give her a good wipe down, but so far, so good. Um, let's go ahead and go check out my other Series 3 box that I picked up. All right, so we come over here. This is kind of my, my prep deck, right? So I've got all of my prepping stuff. Um, also have dust extraction there, but this is my other Series 3 toolbox. This is the 36 inch cart, I believe, open top cart. Um, and this is where most of my tools went, um, freed up a lot of space, but this thing is equally as awesome. Obviously the top I've been working this morning. So just like my other one, it's kind of a mess, uh, but I keep my usual block papers, DA, uh, my two UV primer guns. Um, and then I have so much space in this. I, I love it. Pretty much everything that I need is in this box. So I've got all my sandpaper in this top drawer, backup diaper for my two-year-old. Got to have that. All my blocks in this one. Um, clearly I've got vacuum blocks as there is a vacuum port right there for a Eurovac system that I use and love. Go down one. And then I've got obviously wrenches, impact driver, three eighths impact. This thing is, you guys don't have one of these stubbies. 10 out of 10 recommend. And then various sockets, got some magnetic sockets in there. Go down, bit driver picks, grinder, belt sander, hammers. All kinds of good stuff, a razor wheel. And then I usually keep my UV light here and my extra welder parts. Also, fun fact, if you have one of these Husky boxes, as long as it's a 72, the top hutch for a Series 3 will fit it. This is my prepper, my old prepper's toolbox. And yeah, it fits pretty good. Color's a little different, but anyway. Back to the Series 3. What I recommend getting this box, um, if you're a technician and you're not, you're not looking to spend, you know, $20,000 on a toolbox, but you want to load it with $20,000 worth of tools instead, 10 out of 10. I, I would recommend the crap out of this thing. It has been nothing but awesome. Obviously with the cart, I got the cart that matches. Um, I do need to get the black trim because I do have another. This is my little buff cart, which is not a Series 3. This is, I don't know, five, six years old, but they do make black trim for this one now. So I'm going to do the black trim on that. So it matches everything that I have. But yes, yes, I would I would recommend getting this box. This thing, outside of the few little quirks, obviously the drawer slider and the height of the hutch, those are literally my only two complaints. Overall, for just straight out of the box with the end lockers on top, this, this is my favorite toolbox that I've ever owned. It's also the biggest that I've ever owned. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I know I was just kind of rambling, but I figured I would give you guys an update because I hadn't, I haven't made one since I got the end lockers um, and got it all set up. So I know it's kind of a mess, but it is what it is. I'm working out of the thing. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed that video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helped me out. Um, we've grown a lot this year and I really appreciate all the guys that just keep returning and commenting. Like I, I do see you guys and I greatly appreciate the support. Um, if you guys want to find me on social media, it's Oli Oli Paints on Instagram and TikTok. You guys can hit me up for questions or whatever on there. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.